Our intention with proposing a series of community-scaled interventions, what we're calling SEEDS, was to allow each intervention to become an outgrowth and reflect the communities in which they are inserted. In terms of the architectural form for the living spaces that we are proposing, again, be they hotel, dormitory, or uh, housing, it was important for us to give it, to make these components of, of the seeds very visible within the community because the intention in an emergency mode is that they become beacons, that they draw and are identifiable markers in space, in the sky, for residents in need during an emergency or even just to find where the public spaces of the parks as a marker uh, are. Because what's critical to the success of the seeds in an emergency mode is that they're able to convert to emergency housing and the seeds are meant to provide that service in addition to a daily function that reflects the needs of the individual community in which they sit. I think that what we are proposing here for New Orleans in terms of these seeds is something that will affect work on a community scaled basis. We believe that we have the opportunity to create these catalysts to create uh, local jobs through locally scaled commercial space and retail space that would enhance both the, the physical spaces in which businesses can operate uh, within each parish. Over time, we imagine that deploying a series of seeds, scattering seeds throughout the city, would have a substantial impact on the, uh, both the workspaces and the local businesses that do, in the end, create the vitality of New Orleans. We envision each seed being a public transportation hub. Our intention with creating these seeds is that each seed is meant to be something of a scale that can be realized, they can be deployed within each community, but over time it's our hope that by creating a network of seeds what you've done is effectively created a network of commercial centers that will, we think, change the quality of, of life in New Orleans and make it a much more walkable city where you have these hubs within each community that over time will build throughout the city and create a series of hubs that can bring people from A to B to C to D if they wanted through a series of green, really a necklace of green spaces through the city, each one with a different flavor that grows out of the specifics of each parish and will create a series of points of interest throughout the city of New Orleans. Some of the research that we did pointed to a, a real need for additional green space within New Orleans. So one of the key features of each of these seeds was literally to create higher ground so that in an emergency you had dry land because most of the city is below the floodplain. In terms of their breadth and size, each seed is intended to be two city blocks, two typical New Orleans city blocks uh, in scale, which is a perfect size for a community scaled park. It will consist of natural amphitheaters for ad hoc musical or performance events, green spaces to just sit and take the sun or to relax and read a book. Uh, the idea is to create a green amenity with trees, shrubs, grass, and topography to address uh, the real need to play within each community, but to do so in a way that provides the type of amenity that we think is missing and to place those within each community rather than centralizing them into a place that people have to go to because there's nothing better and more valuable than a community park.